this is one of the main uh, deck areas on the ship. Uh, as you can see, it has Starbucks uh, and many of the bars and lounges that you can visit on your cruise. This is the level in which you board the ship. Uh, this is a fantastic area to congregate, go to a lounge, um, hear some live music, and even do some shopping. This is called On Air. This is a nice little karaoke uh, lounge that you can visit. You see lots of seating, nice bar area, and of course uh, an area at the front that can be a stage. Lots of interesting art pieces around the ship that you can just look at, enjoy, uh, and even take your picture around. <clears throat> I'm doing this a little bit early in the morning, so some of the uh, stores aren't quite open yet. This area here had lots of jewelry available for sale uh, last night. So we're getting into some of the other lounges. We'll take a peek. If you're looking for some duty free, you can get that done here at Royal Port, Port Merchants. This is the English pub here on Symphony of the Seas, Copper and Kettle. We were here last night and they had a great uh, solo guitar player. Uh, he had the whole, whole bar just rocking. He said, son, can you play me a memory? Well, I'm not really sure how it goes. But it's sad and sweet, and I do it humbly. big bar area so you're never waiting for your next beverage I do like how it's it's I call it open air I guess it's open air to the rest of the promenade so uh, if you're interested in some people watching or you just never want to be uh, away from all the action you can be in here and uh, always know what's going on out in the main promenade You can see there's the setup for our guitarist last night. This is one of my favorite venues on the ship. This is Sorrento's Pizza. We'll take you in there. You can come in here and get freshly made pizza pretty much every minute of your entire cruise. It's fantastic. They make all sorts of different varieties from Caribbean Dream. You can see cheese, pepperoni, vegetarian. It's a very, very busy area, especially uh, after a nice day in port. Everyone gets back to the ship and everyone seems to have the same idea. They want to come here, uh, have, a, have a drink and, and get a nice slice of pizza. There's lots of seating. Um, and this is the other side of it. You can see lots of seating. We've got the next cruise desk in there. Another interesting piece of art here as well is the uh, crushed VW bug. People enjoy taking their picture uh, near this little thing. If you are looking to book a cruise, 
Uh, one of the best places to do that, especially if you're on one, is on your cruise. Uh, there's often some nice uh, discounts and perks. You can get all the same sales that are variable on shore, uh, but here you might have the opportunity to pay a reduced deposit, uh, as well as uh, getting an onboard credit. And uh, for those of you that do book with travel agents, like such as myself or another one, um, all those reservations do go back to your agent, so we can take care of you once that reservation has been made. This is one of my favorite things on the ship so far. Um, this is called the Rising Tide Bar, and uh, over the course of the evening, this uh, this bar will rise up three floors up under the Central Park area, and then it will come down again. Really neat place to uh, have a glass of wine after dinner. Here we're coming up at uh, one of uh, everyone's favorite spots on the ship, the Bionic Bar. What's the Bionic Bar, you might be asking? Well, let's go talk to the bartenders. They might not have much to say. But this is the Bionic Bar. As you can see, the bartenders are robots. Um, so what you need to do is you, uh, we didn't see them, they're not set out right now, but uh, you come into the bar, there's some iPads, and you uh, select your drink, you can make your own, you can uh, have one of their uh, custom drinks, enter your order, and these robots will mix it up for you. This is some area here where you can uh, get set up for your day in port, whether you want to do some port shopping, uh, you want to do any shore excursions, um, and uh, of course, for those of you that want to be connected while you're on your cruise, and I know a lot of people do, they have Voom internet, the fastest internet at sea, and you can get set up with that right here. Just come up to uh, deck six, you can take the stairs up here, um, and this is where uh, I mentioned earlier that you can come if you're looking to do something while you're in port, you can come to the shore excursion area here. There are experts to help you out, um, or you could just book your own using those iPads that you see. And also in this space is In Focus, which is their photography store. So there's lots of photographers that are located throughout the ship, always looking to capture a great moment of your vacation for you. You come in here, you tap your card, and you will be able to see all of your cruise photos. So we'll continue with our tour here of the photography store. So it's really big, you never have to really wait uh, to take a look at your uh, cruise photos. Really fun thing to do towards the end of your cruise, you can kind of come back and, and uh, almost relive your vacation through these uh, amazing photos that these professional photographers will take. We're going to head back out and we're going to come around again, we're still on deck six here going to bring you to uh, one of our favorite places on the cruise ship. It's the great little piano bar. It's also located near the loyalty desk, so if you have sailed with Royal Caribbean in the past, you can come here um, and collect your loyalty points or get some special services. So this is the schooner bar. It's a great space. Uh, the piano player that they have here They'll have one here every night and they just do a fantastic job playing some amazing music that you, you know, you'll enjoy. It's got a bit of a nautical theme, which is really cool, especially being on a cruise ship. And it does overlook the promenade. I'm going to take you over there right now so you can kind of catch a glimpse of the view from up here.
We're gonna walk back through uh, Schooner Bar. Again, I just love the nautical theme here. Really makes you feel like you're on a ship from uh, yesteryear. And again, that amazing piano with the excellent piano players. This really adds to another great night on the cruise ship. It's the loyalty desk in there again, if you're a Crown and Anchor member, which is uh, Royal Caribbean's uh, loyalty program, they'll take care of you in there. Walk into another area of the ship. They like to call them neighborhoods. This is one of our favorites as well. This is the boardwalk. So this is supposed to mimic, uh, and I've never been there myself, but it's supposed to mimic uh, Coney Island in New York in that kind of feel. So for those of you that have been there before, let me know in the comments if, uh, if they did it up right. So as you can see here, we've got some uh, carousel horses and they show you the process and how they get from just big blocks of, of wood into the final product. I am Zoltar, the great gypsy, and I can see your And you can see it's the lovely carousel here. This is, this is included in the, the cost of your cruise fare, and the kids just absolutely love it. It's a little dark right now, is it still a little bit early morning? Uh, there is an arcade down here as well, one of the smaller ones. And this is also uh, an area where you can go to uh, the Playmakers Sports Bar. So this is the first sports bar that uh, Royal Caribbean has put on their ships. Uh, and they've got uh, just hundreds of televisions where you can catch up and enjoy uh, any of your favorite sports action while you're on your cruise. You can order pub style food at an additional charge as well, like wings, sliders, and uh, you can kick back and enjoy the game, play a little shuffleboard. <clears throat> and we'll go back into the boardwalk area here. Probably wondering what this is right here. This is a dry slide. This is called the Abyss, and it starts way up there. So this is one of the unique features on a Royal Caribbean ship, specifically the Oasis class ships. All of the Oasis class ships have the Aqua Theater. So this is located in the aft area of the ship, that's the back on deck six, and they do put on a lot of great shows in the Aqua Theater. We're coming to our show, I believe, Tuesday night, which is tomorrow, and we're really excited about it. So you can see there's lots of seating. You can make uh, reservations in advance for the Aqua Theater show, or you can just uh, arrive about 10 minutes before the show as well if you weren't able to make reservations, and you should they should be able to find you a spot to enjoy the show. I'll come back now and take you through the rest of the boardwalk. Oh, right here you've got a rock climbing wall, so anyone that's interested in doing some rock climbing, you can do that. And this is uh, another one of our favorite venues on the ship. Uh, those of you that are interested in the 50s diner, Johnny Rockets, maybe you have one at home. Well, you've got one on the ship here. You can come to Johnny Rockets and have one of their shakes or one of those iconic burgers. surf shop if uh, you want to grab a new bathing suit or uh, one of those rash guard shirts if you're gonna go on the uh, bodyboarding up on the pool deck you can grab that, those sorts of items in the surf shack and what would a cruise be without candy I know my daughter's uh, very excited about coming into here Sugar Beach and getting some candy Come back through and you can see the carousel again. And as we exit the boardwalk back into the ship, just one other dining venue I want to show you here. And this is the doghouse. 
this is included in your cruise fare. You can come down here and get all sorts of uh, hot dogs and sausages and uh, take them up to the pool deck if you're spending the day there. You can eat them here at one of the tables. But uh, the Boardwalk Doghouse, I give it uh, a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, I don't want to frighten you, we didn't suddenly leave the Caribbean and make our way to New York City, but this is Central Park on the ship. It's a beautiful space on deck eight, and these are 100% live and living trees and flowers. In the Central Park area, you'll find a lot of the specialty restaurants that you can visit. This is Vintages. This is their wine room, so if uh, you do like to have a nice glass of wine, and you have a particular bottle that you're a fan of, chances are they will have it in vintages. It's going to let you enjoy as we walk along here. Just an absolutely beautiful space. I'm looking forward to hanging out here a few times on our cruise. For any of my viewers from New York City, you let me know if, uh, if they've done a good job recreating uh, Central Park. It's another one of the specialty dining restaurants, Jamie's Italian. So this is Jamie Oliver's restaurant. They've got a few of these on the Royal Caribbean ships. We keep moving along, lots of seating areas. If you just want to have, come and have a coffee or just have some relaxation while you're on the cruise, surrounded by beautiful flowers and trees. This is the trellis bar. So it's another area where you can come and get yourself a beverage or a cocktail while you're enjoying your time here in Central Park. I mentioned uh, in one of my other videos that you might have seen the uh, Rising Tide Bar. It's a bar that goes from the Royal Promenade up three levels to the Central Park. And this is where it comes to. see it just down there just past where that gentleman just walked and you can see here it does give you the times in which it goes so our next one's at 3 30 today we'll keep going with our tour here of Central Park it's another one of the specialty dining areas so specialty dining does come at additional cost um, but I do encourage you to check them out uh, we're going to Jamie's Italian tonight uh, in addition to being able to go and have dinner in the main dining room, you can come to one of these specialty restaurants and uh, have an elevated uh, experience. We come around here and we're going to go back through Central Park, through some of the restaurants that we didn't see on the first uh, walkthrough. So this right here is a Royal Caribbean fan favorite, Chops Grill. They have Chops Grill on most of their ships, especially the Oasis class ships. And it's, uh, it's always been a fan favorite steakhouse. So in addition to the indoor seating, you can also have some outdoor seating as well. So if you want to be, uh, you know, feel the breeze while you're having a lovely dinner, you can do that in a nice outdoor setting. We are. We're going to come back through the Central Park and take a look up there. You can see some of the water slides and you can start to see that the sun is rising. Should be a beautiful day here in Roatan. I really like this piece right here. It's the flower wall. Just a really cool thing that Royal Caribbean has done. Things that you don't see on other ships. And while I'm here, I'll just pan across and you can see balconies. So all sorts of different room opportunities here from an inside cabin, outside cabins, balcony cabins. And uh, these are actually some Central Park balconies um, where you can have your room. Uh, if you want to grab some coffee, uh, tea or some sort of specialty drink, it's uh, 
Not something I do, but uh, my wife does like a good cup of coffee and come to the park cafe and sit out in this nice seating area. I mentioned a lot of really cool art pieces around the ship. Uh, this is one of my favorite things right here. It's the official Symphony of the Seas seal, Central Park seal. It's really neat. You can see the ship launched in 2018. Had an opportunity to take a tour of the sister ship, Harmony of the Seas. Uh, so we were really excited to have our first opportunity to sail on an Oasis class ship. And we're, we're two days into our cruise and it has lived up to everything we could have ever imagined and then some. If you're looking at doing some shopping while you're on board as well, maybe you need a new watch or a piece of jewelry. They do have some lovely shops that you'd remember from home, from Cartier, Hublot, and Bulgari. And that concludes our tour of the beautiful Central Park here on Deck 8 of Symphony of the Seas. And then down below us here, you've got the baby splash zone. So this is a perfect area for your really little ones to hang out, uh, especially one of those that are still in diapers. This is a place where they can uh, splash and play and enjoy the ship. Let's another look at the baby splash zone here on Symphony of the Seas. We've got some of the water going now. Some great things for your little ones to enjoy. And I'll just take a look at the rules here for you. Can I know that's a concern? Watch your kids. So you can see, point out that rule there. Again, this is important to uh, families with young children. So this is for children that are still in diapers and not fully toilet trained. It's a great little area for them to play. I'm really happy uh, that they have this on the ship, especially for my young family clients. Next to it, we have Splash Away Bay. So this is a larger water park splash pad area. Couple slides in there. Again, please excuse the noise from the wind. It is a bit of a windy day today. I can bring you around and show you a bit of a different side of it. The sun is just rising. It's about seven in the morning. Uh, being that it's a sea day, the uh, pool deck is starting to fill up already. Not, not with a ton of people. Uh, but uh, if you do have a, spe a specific spot on the pool deck you'd like to get on your sea day, you might want to wake up a little bit earlier, grab a book, and secure that spot for the day. So as you can see, some great stuff for the, uh, your little ones to play with. Uh, this is where we usually keep her down for the day. It's a nice spot where the kids can kind of play. We can keep them down from the lounge chairs. And they just have an absolutely great time. You can see that fabulous little slide there. Kids love that. And then there's a couple smaller ones on the back side. We are Splash Away Bay. They've just opened it up. So the water's starting to flow. Thought I'd take you for a little tour. Now that everything's up and going. Tons of cool little water features. Awesome slide. Okay, now here we are at the Solarium. This is an adults only space here on Symphony of the Seas. They do have these on quite a number of their ships. It's a quiet space for adults to come. Nice serene setting in here as you can see. It is enclosed as well. There's pools, there's jacuzzis, there's a spot to get coffee, there's a spot to get some food. There really is a lovely space in here. You can see off in the distance there's a really neat art piece that lights up in the evening time. 
This is three levels as well. So you can see the lower level there. Some really nice lounge chairs, umbrellas, even, even some uh, nice foliage. And we're gonna come up on that lovely art piece. lovely bar that you can access into the afternoon time. If you do get a moment, I do recommend that you come into this space and, and have some relaxation time. It is a little bit quieter, as you may well imagine, uh, especially on a sea day uh, when you've got lots of excited kids uh, running around, having all sorts of fun. So if you need a few moments, whether that to read a book or just have some quiet time, uh, this is a great space to do that. Now we're taking a look at the solarium pool. Just a quick look at the rules. I love this pool. I'm gonna take you down in the lower level so you can better get a better view of it. So here's your stairs to enter. An absolutely gorgeous view off the front of the ship. If this doesn't scream serenity to you, I don't know what will. You see some beautiful seating in there as well. About one meter deep so not too deep just enough to get you wet make you feel like you're in a pool having some fun and come down these stairs into the lower level I'll back up you can get a better view just a really nice nice neat cool feature of the solarium pool and while you're in there as you look up You've got that beautiful art piece. And as you look outward, you're gonna have a wonderful view out the front of the ship. And at this time of day, as the sun rises, We're here in the back portion of the Windjammer Cafe. Um, just want to take you on a little tour to give you a sense of what it looks like. <clears throat> We're on one, one half of it right now. The other half is not open just yet. It is still relatively early in the morning. We can see two food stations here, specialties. So this is where you can get custom omelets, fried eggs, uh, made to order, the beverage station. You see a fresh fruit station. And then just down to the right past the beverage station there. I can try and zoom in on that for you. Is where you'll find the rest of the cafe or the Windjammer buffet. And there's about five or six other food stations in that space. I'd love to take you through there right now, but unfortunately it's closed. Uh, but we'll try and take you in there a little bit later. But as you can see, lots of seating. You're not gonna be stepping over people or fighting for seats here in the Windjammer. I'm gonna try and take you to look at one of the specialty food stations here. Just some of the amazing chefs here on board Symphony of the Seas who do a great job taking care of everybody. donuts and pastries that are available, as well as some nice pieces of whole fruit. And for those of you that have special dietary restrictions, there are lots of gluten-free items available, not just the bread that you see here. One of the beverage stations here on board, this is where you can get all sorts of fruit juices, water, iced tea. Two complimentary soft serve ice cream stations. Absolutely spectacular soft serve ice cream. Really enjoyable. Kids uh, take advantage of that multiple times over the course of the day. 
This is one of the complimentary um, restaurants, buffets here on Symphony of the Seas. This is El Loco Fresh, and they serve breakfast and lunch here. Um, and this is uh, Mexican fare. So I'll just take you for a little walk through El Loco Fresh. You can see they've got a quesadilla station. You can make burritos as well as tacos. Those items aren't quite out here just yet as it is breakfast time. Some yogurt, granola, fresh fruit cups, pastry station. Love this part if you're a fan of Mexican food this is the salsa bar you can mix up your own salsa and pico de gallo on your cruise really enjoyable we're just outside Studio B and we're going to go into the Casino Royale which is one of the uh, other entertainment venues here on the cruise ship as we come through the uh, walkway the hallway we come into the casino Lots of uh, slot games. Maybe some of your favorites from home. And as we open up into the, the full casino area, you can start to see that there's uh, some of your favorite table games available as well. From craps to the roulette, poker, blackjack. All sorts of uh, your favorite casino games. This is one of the few areas on the ship that actually takes cash, so your C card will not work in this venue. Uh, I mean, it will work in this venue if you're looking to uh, have a beverage while you're playing. However, uh, you do need uh, cash to play any of the games here at the casino. This is also one of the few areas on the ship where smoking is permitted. There is a small section here within the casino uh, where you are permitted to uh, smoke. But uh, someone who has allergies uh, specifically to smoke, um, it's not enough to bother me down here uh, in those smoking areas. This is room, stateroom 8148, deck 8. This is the um, Central Park deck of the ship. It's going to take you for a little tour of the room. Uh, very welcoming as you get in. Nice queen bed. Sofa bed. You can see a dresser and desk. We ordered a water package, you can see that there. This is a balcony room. So we do have a balcony that faces out to the ocean. I'll take you out there in a minute. We're still in port, so you cannot see the ocean just yet as we're on the port side of the ship. This is a full shot of the room here. And I am going to take you into the bathroom. Lots of space. I actually really like how the room is laid out. Open the door, you see the shower, two hooks. Sink, toilet, and then again a lovely shower. We got a closet here. This is where you can hang your clothes. Also fold some clothes, use them as drawers. There's a safe and then a couple drawers down the bottom. Take another look back at our lovely room here on Symphony of the Seas. I will take you onto the balcony now. This is the terminal you can see here. We've got two chairs, a 
and a lovely table. All you really need to enjoy your cruise. This is a beautiful balcony stateroom here on Symphony of the Seas. We made it. We're here in the Bahamas, about to enjoy our perfect day. At Coco K. As you reach the edge of the pier here at Ca uh, Perfect Day at Coco K, you've got all your directional signage, maps, lots of staff here to direct you to the best spot for you to you and your family to spend the day. We've chosen to spend our day at Chill Island. We don't get a lot of beach time where we are, so we decided to take advantage of the beach rather than some of the other amenities and activities here. Here we are, just in an open space here around Chill Island. Lots of buildings, I mean there's shops, restrooms, it's a first aid hut right there, place where you can rent your snorkel gear, and you can see the ship off in the distance there. Here's a great view um, from the bridge, looking out to the water park straight ahead. complimentary dining venues here at Perfect Day at Coco K. This is Captain Jack's. Take you in for a little tour. Lots of nice Adirondack chairs. It's a nice bar area over to the right with some nice swings. Because when on vacation, who doesn't like a nice swing bar? I'm sure this venue is going to be very full around lunchtime. And as we walk through the venue, you can see it's got a nice view. Um, if you're not looking to get in the water, but you want to be nice and close to it, uh, including in the shade, it's got a great view of Harbor Beach. I mentioned earlier we walked across a bridge to get to Chill Island and that's just going to come into view there. And here we are at Splashaway Bay here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. It's a great little splash pad for kids to enjoy during the day. Lots of sprayers and geezers. Keep everyone cool during the day. Let's walk over to Skipper's Grill, which is the buffet here at Perfect Day at Coco K, to take a look around. Staff are just getting things set up as we did just clear the gangway to get onto the island, probably about, oh, about 35, 40 minutes ago. So quite a few people are still on the ship eating, but they are getting set up for our perfect day buffet. See taco stations, the salsa station, similar to El Loco Fresh. Some nice salad stations. And of course, there's lots of seating available as well. Take you for a little walk around the venue. Again, nothing's uh, set up yet. There's no food out yet, but uh, 
the amazing staff here is working feverishly to get ready for all of the guests who are ready to have some lunch. And you can see they've got some nice seating here as well. All covered as well. Lots of covered seating here. So if you're looking to escape the sun for a few minutes during your lunch, lots of shade with these big canopies overlooking picnic tables. And I'm going to walk you out. We're, we're getting closer to the Harbor Beach area where uh, we saw the seating, the umbrellas. The sun's bright today. So it might affect the video a little bit, but I wanted to give everyone a real good idea of what to expect when they experience their perfect day at Coco Cay.